hi lovies and welcome back to this channel if you're new here my name is Belinda Strana don't forget to please subscribe to this channel turn on notifications so that anytime I upload a video you will be the first person to be notified and to my returning subscribers to those people that share my videos leave commentaries and also educate each and every one of us you guys are the real mvp all right lovelies let's dive in into this so lovelies i came across this video on my for you page on tiktok and i thought to share with you guys where a lot of people are reacting to the fact that citizenship must be asked before you collect any form of treatment in the hospital so if you're having any form of you know emergency cases and you're not a citizen you know what is going to happen i'm just going to roll the clip as well as some of other stitches i was able to put together please leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment all right lovelies let's dive into it starting today hospitals across the state are required to ask for and collect information about the citizenship of patients back in august governor gray abbott signed this order that requires both inpatient and emergency care workers to ask if an incoming patient is an american citizen this move has been met with concern as well as controversy some question if this will affect medical vital medical services our larry collins went looking for answers to these questions and is here now this morning with what you learned larry good morning yeah, good morning Deborah. You know, this is a story that has national headlines behind it, right? Well, the head of the DFW Hospital Council tells us that local hospitals and systems do plan to fully comply with this order. He said that the hospital systems may comply in different ways, though, when it comes to collecting the citizenship information. It's one question and one question only. Are they a U.S. citizen? So, wife had a checkup the other day, right? And what's crazy about this my wife and I were just talking right now and I told her I was about to make this video but on the forms on some of the forms you fill out for your like general information or whatever it literally asks now for your religious status like it wants to know what religion you are they say so they can provide adequate protocols just in case of death or if your religion calls for any special treatments or anything like that absolutely lying because neither one of us have ever seen that question asked on a medical form ever ever and so now that it's asking about citizenship status this is some very sneaky conniving bs i don't like it i don't like it i don't think nobody should answer those questions period i told my wife to put in a call me a socialist call me whatever the fuck you want to call me but I don't believe medical care should be denied based on nationality or citizenship. Which kind of patients? Who are they going to be asking such questions about their citizenships? I really doubt that they're going to be asking Cheryl and Karen if they're United States citizens. I have a feeling they're going to be asking people who look like me about our citizenships. You know, my dad is darker than me, and he doesn't speak a lick of English. Not a lick of it. American citizen. But he speaks no English. He's been here for, I mean, I'm about to be 34. Do the math. And he was here way before I got here. And then I have a friend, I have a really good friend, who is pale as it gets. And you know where he's from? He's from Bosnia. But Ten Buck says they weren't, they're not going to ask him about his citizenship. I wonder why. Because his skin color is similar to this? Yeah, we see what you're doing, Greg Abbott. You are allowing for legal racial profiling of people who look like me. It's disgusting. And if you guys are okay with this, you guys are racist. Period, point blank. There's nothing around it. And you guys are going to say, well, they're going to ask everybody. They're not going to be asking everybody. They're going to be specifically 
asking people who look like me. And this is how it starts. Next thing you know, we will have to wear numbers on our wrists. You know what's so sad about that? Is that they treat them like they're nobody. They treat them like they're not human. They treat them like they're subhuman. They talk about them, dog them, derange them. It is disgusting. It's disgusting. How Abbott is still the governor is beyond me. How Cruz is still in office is beyond me. Chances if you don't do nothing, please get them two out of damn office. Please get them out of office. All right, I get why the hospitals are doing this. The problems I see is you're going to have a lot of people that are going to refuse to get medical treatment because the information they're asking for is basically they're going to know the person's address. They're going to go get the people and they're going to deport them. I don't support illegal immigration. I just think this is the wrong way. It's going to end up having a lot of people get hurt. A lot of people not seek medical attention because they're fearful of being deported. There's got to be another way than this. I wonder what happens when Mexico decides to return the favor and not treat any Americans. Starting today. So, Texas politicians want medical professionals to violate the Hippocratic Oath. <clears throat> In the time since Donald Trump won the election, again, his press secretary has come out and said, yes, we will be conducting the biggest mass deportation in American history starting on the first day. Let's hope that she's lying. Right-wingers, both from his previous administration and other news media people like Matt Walsh and Steve Bannon have come out and said, yeah, it's time to admit that we are in fact gonna do Project 2025. Let's hope they're lying. Multiple people throughout the country and mainly black college students have been getting this text message, this robo text about how slaves need to get on the plantation. You're assigned to this plantation in particular. Let's hope this is a coincidence and a data leak and not a sign of how emboldened people's rhetoric will become in the following four years. Project 2025 goes into detail about firing federal employees and replacing them with people who are ideologically aligned with Donald Trump. This similar thing could also happen within the judiciary. Let's hope it doesn't, and let's hope our entire judiciary is not now controlled by people who will not check the power of Donald Trump, because the Supreme Court is already that way. Speaking of that Supreme Court, we just probably lost the ability to have a majority in the Supreme Court for at minimum the next 40 years. Let's hope that other precedents set by the Supreme Court, like rights to contraception and gay marriage and interracial marriage, are not also reviewed in swift order in the same way that Roe v. Wade was. Because now that the government has fallen into control of Donald Trump and the Republicans, the only thing we can do is hope that they've been lying this entire time and hope that they drafted up a 900 page plan for no fucking reason. Any reaction from the Democratic Party that is not taking a hard look in the mirror and wanting to shed this corporate neoliberalism and wanting to give people innovative policies that they can actually look forward to so that every election as the Republicans fall more and more into fascism, we are not just, hey, we aren't those guys in our way all the way through an election cycle. Any reaction that falls outside of that purview is a categorical failure. Any reaction from the left-wing political apparatus in general in the United States when it comes to advocacy work that is not centered on deploying every resource possible to win this online propaganda game, given how many young men in my generation are immediately bombarded with right-wing, misogynistic, horrible rhetoric the moment they open their phone from when they turn fucking 13 that shapes their worldview on what it means to become a man by the time they go into that booth at 18. Any reaction that falls outside of that purview acknowledging that we need to win this battle is a categorical failure. The reason I say this is because you don't just casually run into a candidate with 34 felony convictions held liable for sexual tried to overthrow the government when he lost an election that he knew he lost but lied about it and said that he won, hid and stole classified documents, tried to strong arm states to get him specific votes so that he could beat Joe Biden last time. You don't run into that and lose if people genuinely give a fuck 
about what it is you stand for as a party. You don't run into a mass deportation candidate, gut the entire government, destroy everything, and get rid of all the agencies, and lose if people think you're adequate enough to be a solution to their problems. We have to break this mold of trying the same old shit over and over and over again. Trying to adopt Republican-esque rhetoric or right-wing policies is not going to work. We see where they're going. And what can normal people do? Take care of yourself. Take care of your family and those around you. Organize. Do not give up fighting. This is where we're needed the most. And continue to wake up every day not knowing what could happen. Let that fuel you to continue to speak on what matters, to continue to speak truth to power, to continue seeking those positions that they don't want us in. Let it fuel you, because I, for one, am not going anywhere. In fact, y'all will be hearing a lot from me over these next four years. I wish I could come on here and tell you guys we're all gonna be okay, and it's all sunshine and rainbows, but I'd be lying to you. I don't know. I do not know. I seriously love this. It's not even up to, you know, things are getting the way at which people want it. Things are getting the way at which majority want it. They say majority carries the vote. And I think the majority that carries the vote are beginning to enjoy the outcome of, you know, just imagine even if you want to you know send some people out and all of them why would you use their health like why would you use their health as a means to get whosoever you want to get like let's imagine that someone is just in a critical condition and before this person will be attended to this person you know have to be neglected and uh, not only neglected the person also needs to provide a citizenship or something before you will be attending to them. After that, exactly, you know, if you're not documented, you are, you know, getting out. But the thing is that, what if this person is actually in a critical condition and is not able to speak, nor to open the eyes, or to do whatsoever, so there is people who will not even attend to you. Like, even if it's affecting undocumented people, I think it's one way or the other affecting people that are even documented because it takes someone that is conscious to start talking about where or if this, if I, you are documented or not, or if you're legal or not legal. That means if you're in a critical condition, you know, they have to wait or I, how is it that, how do they want to really impose this? How do they want to achieve this? You know? This is one of the things that people have seen, the impending thing that must occur that people have seen that they were like, it's better for us or it's better for, no, let me not use that word, us, please. It's better for them to actually, you know, go for a lesser, you know. But no, there are a lot of people that enjoy stuff like this. There are a lot of impending thing that is yet to unfold. And like I keep on saying that this is going to favor everyone. It's going to favor everyone. But in positive and in negative way. Like seriously. Just look hard. Just imagine yourself in a critical condition. You're not even able to speak nor hear nothing. But some people are just there waiting for you. And any day, any day you wake up from your unconsciousness. You have to, you know, get them... Or maybe, is it that they want people to keep roaming around with their document or something? Like seriously? And this is exactly what people want? This is what people want? This is what the majority of people want? Like, how will someone be in a critical condition? And um, you'll be asked so many questions, is this applicable to everyone or it's just applicable to some poc because definitely even a pan color person they, they won't tell me that pan color people will be treated as such as well like seriously i think using someone's medical you know thing or history or whatsoever condition med medical condition 
they can actually use something else to identify the undocumented people because using this towel is I, I see it as something that is so extreme i see it as something that is is not human at all they can actually use something else because this person you're trying to like this person might actually be unconscious and how do you expect unconscious person to remember or tell you if this person is applicable or this pe this person is valid or valid to to be issued a medical assistant like seriously lovelies and this is what a lot of people voted for this is what a lot of people want anyways i hope this actually benefits every single person i hope that this you know new system is going to favor so many people you know by disappointing the devil and favoring so many people and i've heard so many you know things that is coming up that people really need to watch out for and i am just so you know i'm just so short of words that you know that something like this can actually use to detect the documented and undocumented people i, th I think that's you know using someone's health health or shouldn't be a, a criteria or something they can just use something else or they can just go to people's house one after the other but you can see someone that is in, is in the need of a health assistant you're asking this person questions this person actually wants to live and what kind of people are you talking about who are these rules made for these are the questions you have to, you you have to ask yourself these are the questions but it's so unfortunate that you know things has gotten this way but by the grace we all have to we just people just need to deal with it and keep on hoping for the best well on, anyway lovelies why not just leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment we're just here for education and informative purposes if you don't subscribe to this channel or to this extent Please do your girl a huge favor to click on the subscription button, like, leave your thoughts in the comment section, and I will see you lovelies when I upload the next one. Just leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video. And please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment. We are just here for educational purposes. So please share this video, subscribe if you're yet to do that, and I will see you lovelies when I upload the next one. <laughs>